Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching The Apothecary Diaries, episode 21. So, Surrey is back from the dead. We kind of saw her elaborate plan. Aside from that, the rest of the episode, we probably didn't really understand too well, to be honest. There was a lot packed into it. Jinchi was speculating about a couple of things. We learned a little bit more about him. But look, aside from that, there's still a little bit more to be uncovered because we're missing some very very important puzzle pieces especially with jinshi mm -hmm. well at least confirmation you know and then there's also all this talk about uh lawland now and her disguising herself so was she somewhat involved in in that whole conspiracy not entirely sure but some of that links up we now have lady gyokyo who's pregnant yep probably with a boy i'm gonna say mm -hmm. yeah and that's got its implications as well if you guys are interested in signing up to our patreon You'll gain three to four weeks of early access to our current shows, and you'll also find reactions that are exclusive to our Patreon. If you're interested, you can check out our link in the description below. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. This guy. Okay. Oh, not a pay cut. <laughs> she should be higher ranking than him. I hate to say it. Dude's an absolute mess. I know. An acquaintance discount. <laughs> that looks good. Sweet potatoes are late. Mm. You get that vibe? I get that vibe <laughs> from him. 100%. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> he's got a little crush. Little? Yeah. <laughs> I think he's in love. Got anything to do with horses? She's gonna figure it out. <laughs> Just off that. Oh, no. <laughs> Bro just gave away the secret. I love this guy. <laughs> He's such a blabbermouth, man. Yeah. And she knows it too. Oh, he's not getting no, it. No, come on. Wait, really? <laughs> wow. You really had to spell it out for him. <laughs> he can't handle Seriously? it. <laughs> oh, I got a theory. Yeah. Shit. Is this where the annex was? Yeah. Vertigris house? Yeah. Yeah. Someone bought her out. And it was probably Larkin. That's what I think. Aww. 
keep her staying there instead of on the streets. <laughs> That's actually yeah. really cute. I feel like those could do anything, honestly. <laughs> That's really cute. That's so cute. Nice. His dreams have been shattered. Run away with her. <laughs> I see. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Wait, why? Oh! <laughs> Jinji's gonna see. Jinji's gonna walk in. <laughs> Jinji's gonna walk in. <laughs> Scouting for a foster <laughs> mummy. <laughs> Good enough for what? <laughs> Please clear this up. <laughs> you didn't mention Pyrin to Jinshi. <laughs> Come on, yes, yes, you're on the right track. <laughs> I think she's going to follow it up with something nice. Good, good, good. Probably going to be like, what? <laughs> I feel bad for him. Dude, he's shredded, man. Yeah. Oh, this works out perfectly. Is he gonna give him he's the gonna cash? fund it. He's gonna fund it to get him out of the picture. <laughs> Cause he's jealous of him. No, but it's cleared up now. <laughs> Oh, then you'll have hell to pay. <laughs> Works out perfectly. What's in it for him? He's clearly jealous of him. 
That's a man. That that is a man, and I think that's just going to tell Jinchi everything he needs to know. Nothing to worry about, you see. He's about to give him a pay increase. Yep. <laughs> that was a great shakedown, though. Yeah. I love that from him. That was epic. Mm. Make her fall in love with you. How old was she again? She close to 30s or in her 30s? Yeah, like I reckon. We're all invested in this ship. Oh, yeah. It is the bastard prick. Just spill all the beans, mate. I, I need to hear this shit. Sick of his secrets. What does that mean? What? I don't know herbs and flowers and... What was that, blue roses? What is yeah, that? a rose is not a herb. <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say? I don't get the meaning of all of them. We actually had a little bit of a break from like the... All the twists and the, yes. the plot and all of that for a nice wholesome episode. Wholesome and hilarious. Yeah. Liaku, however you say his name, is pursuing Peirin. I think she might fall for him eventually. He seems like a, a nice guy. I really like how he didn't want to accept the money. Yeah. And instead wanted to try to win her over in the conventional way. Yeah. Uh, it, because it's exactly what, and I, I didn't say this at the time, but it's exactly what Jinchi's doing. Same thing with Mau Mau. So... I think Jinchi could really respect that because he's trying to do the same thing. He could have bought out Mau Mau and well, which he did, but he could have like done it for a different reason. Yeah. Instead, he's trying to actually win Mau Mau over, which is uh, taking a long time, and it will take a long time. I don't, I don't even know if it will happen eventually. But yeah, I really like how he saw himself in Liaku mm. in that moment too. I think in that moment he was trying to figure out if Liaku. Would ever want to be with Mau Mau. Yeah, if he was a player. And it was quite obvious that yeah. he yeah. only had one true love. Yeah, exactly. So then all of that sorted itself out. But that whole scene with <laughs> Mau Mau, like, trying to suss out oh his God. body and all of that, going to strip, that was the funniest going to get shit. him to take off his undergarments. She was just scouting for her sis. <laughs> that was hilarious. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was one of my favorite oh, scenes. My I, I just knew Jinchi was coming along, and yeah. <laughs> you got the other two outside that are listening They're in. Listening. Oh, yeah, that was funny. Mm -hmm. It was really funny. So it does look as if Larkin bought out Mau Mau's sick mum. Well, we think that she's the mum. She probably is, right? Yeah, I remember the old granny lady mm. saying stuff like they usually just, if like someone comes down with something like that, a courtesan, they'll be tossed to the side and like be homeless. Mm hmm. Yeah, so it was kind of in the back of my mind too why they let her stay there. Mm. Uh, like she was bringing in no money. Yeah, of course, yeah. If anything, she's just like taking up space and, you know, eating their food and all of that. I think with Larkin, it's going to be one of those things where he's going to have his moment where we all feel sorry for him and we all say, okay, well, he's just trying to mend his relationship with Mau Mau. He's just trying to save this woman who he actually loves and all that. But the problem was the way he was presented and the story makes it very tricky to support this guy. But yeah. I just, I, I'm just, ex what I'm saying is I'm expecting the show to, to flip it on us and yes. then make us Team Larkin for a bit or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, because he was going on about like, you know, how do you make a courtesan worthless? Mm. Like, we were expecting that he, like, a abused her and got her pregnant and stuff. Mm -hmm. But then he supposedly, if we're going with that theory of yours, if he bought her out, 
Maybe that's what he actually meant. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure, but there's obviously a lot more to him. I was getting frustrated at the end of the episode because he does all these things and you, I just don't know his exact motives and everything like that. I'm and he's get- always looking shady yeah, and smiley exactly, and exactly, all that Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, I don't know, maybe more on him in the last few episodes. I think there are only three left. And there was talk about a blue rose. The next episode's called Blue Rose. Do you have any any idea about the significance of a blue rose? I'm not good with plants, herbs, any of that shit. Stop with the herbs. <laughs> uh, there are a lot of herbs in the show, Carly. A rose is not one. I don't. I don't think it's a plant. It's a flower. If it was a type of herb. No, I'm just saying. You get what I'm saying, Carly. I reckon maybe it's a similar situation to Liaku and Heyrin, where he really loved her. Maybe he couldn't afford to buy her at the time. Mao mm. Mao's mum. Mm. Maybe it was love. They loved each other. Well, maybe he brought her the blue roses. They fell in love. And yeah, like he tried to win her over. Like I feel like Liaku will do now because he said he wants to um, win her love in a way that's true to him. Yeah, there's definitely more to him. He, like I don't think he's been presented as this character who, okay, he's going to be shady. We're going to hate him, but it's probably gray areas there. It's just. The evidence is against him at the moment, is all I'm saying. Nothing has been confirmed. No. I would love to love him, and I would love for him to be able to have a relationship with Mau Mau, because we can see that Mau Mau obviously has some ideas about him, and maybe that was planted by Gran, because Gran obviously is upset with him because maybe he's taken the business from Mau Mau's mum away from her. So maybe she had all these preconceived ideas about him and obviously yeah. like Mau Mau's grown up being fed that information. I think as much as she doesn't want to speak with him, I think and that's a lot. I, I feel like it would be an interesting conversation, one we might get mm. at the end of the season. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.